Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is uh, Divine Empress 71. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, happy Saturday to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So I've, I've meditated over the cards and I've shuffled the deck. Uh, what I have out on the table is uh, I have um, I have Ace of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, and I have um, Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, this is uh, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I have the Fool card here. Uh, this is Aries Energy. And then I have Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, what I <laughs> what I was picking up. Um, Somebody is uh somebody is jealous of you, um, collective. I don't know who this is. Some of you may know who it is. Some of you may not know who it is, and then some of y'all just don't give a damn. That's cool. Um, but whoever this is or was or whatever, this person is jealous of your abundance. They are jealous. Uh, this is somebody who is jealous of your prosperity. This is somebody that talks about people. They gossip. They put people down. Um, they um, they find more negative. They focus. They even if the, even if things are going positive, going well for you, they will always try to find some kind of reason rhyme or reason to throw salt on you this is this is yeah because see some of you are right now some of you are financially blessed god has been good to you you are doing well some of you are coming up you know what i'm saying and you know this is all about prosperity. Your money, you know, is growing. Is is you know, y'all doing some big things, or you, or at least you are in the makings of doing so. You know, new job, you know, uh, money increasing, you know, pay raises, yeah, <sighs> investments. You're buying homes, new vehicles, starting businesses. Uh, you know, you are, um, you are focusing on, um, you know, um, focusing on establishing your security, you know, um, and your stability. And this is something that you've been manifesting. Some of you guys been manifesting this for a while. You know, you prayed about it. And some of you uh, have come into the season of, of this new prosperity that's coming in. I mean, that's already here for some of you. And and for others, it's coming. But, but somebody don't like it. I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is a lover, somebody you used to kick it with, you know, intimately. Or maybe this is family, a co-worker. Uh, uh, somebody but this is somebody who is they they tell uh, they will tell lies uh, and these lies can be malicious I mean malicious low down dirty lies that this person can tell this is somebody who's very biased uh, this is somebody who may look down on people, on certain folks. They judge people by what they have and what they don't have. But this is somebody who is not happy. They are very bitter. This is a bitter individual. This is a bitter person. What I call, <laughs> what we call, what I call a bitter Betty. 
bitter bomb. You know, this, this, yeah. Oh. This person is toxic. They got some toxic ways. And they do this because uh, they, this is somebody who likes to project. They may project on the other people. You know, a hater. They are just a straight up hater. This is somebody that can hate on you or hate on people that, and these people ain't did nothing to them. Nothing. But because that person is doing all right, God is blessing this person. God is keeping this person. They get jealous. They got a, they got a problem with it. They're like, they don't like to see nobody else do well. This, this person cannot be trusted. They can't. This is somebody that you don't want to tell a lot of your personal secrets. Uh, it's just certain things that you can't tell this person. This person will go back and run their mouth and tell your business. Mm-hmm. And then, and but they do it though. They do it to make you look bad. Hoping they can make you feel some type of way. Because um, this is somebody who also, they can appear like, uh, like they innocent or like they good people, but they not. And they do a lot of uh, careless Foolish things. They don't. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. They don't. They don't think about what they say before they say it. They very. Uh, they can be very childish too. When you know. <laughs> yeah, they. And they don't. And this could be somebody that uh, they have a lack of commitment. They don't, uh, especially when it comes to uh, being loyal in relationships with people. No, this this is somebody that will that will stab you in the back. Mm-hmm. And probably wouldn't think too much of it. But they but they come off as very youthful, spontaneous, like. Um. If this an older person, they got a they got a young person's spirit about them. Very active. But with five of cups being here though, I don't know. I believe that uh they they fit they are in regret too about what they've done. Or about being this way towards you. Now, for some of you, this person could have had could have had you in the five of cups in the past, in this grief, you know, uh, because some of you may have regretted even dealing with this person. Like I said, even if they family, because. Uh, because this person backstabbed you for being so jealous of you, uh, they cause a heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Cause, because see, this person, uh, they, they focus on the, this is somebody who focuses on the negative too much. You know what I mean? They focus on the negative too much. Mm. This is somebody who's very lonely too. They lonely. Mm-hmm. Very lonely. Unhappy. They they are unhappy with self. And this is somebody who's broken. They broken. This is why they they do these malicious things to people. You know what they say? Hurt people, hurt people. Well, this is, this is, this is what this is. 
this person uh when they um this person this is somebody who may have went through trauma um in their early years too that has a lot to do with why they are this way as well yeah. they don't they don't like to change neither they this is this <laughs> um this could be somebody that see this person they know that they need to do the work on themselves but they won't do it they know that they <laughs> they know that they are not right but like i said you know they'll they'll uh you know but they'll they'll come off in this you know this you know uh this sweet calm energetic um you know uh like they harmless type of you know they come off in this energy like they are harmless you know and this is how they want people to see them you know that they don't you know they don't do this <laughs> this person backstabbed they they backstabbed they backstab you yeah you know but yet and still you know, the, you know, the, see, they get behind your back and do this gossiping and uh, this old malicious type stuff that they do. But yet and still, but they're trying to come off like, you know, um, you know, I'm cool. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a good person. You know, uh, I'm everybody's friend. I got you. You know, that, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, this ain't it. And this is, uh. And you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius as well. I'm telling you, this is a bitter Betty or a bitter Bob. This person bad mouths people. They ruin relationships. This is somebody that will run a good person away this is somebody who who have spent most of their lives adult lives probably childhood too with this trauma being here this is somebody that has sabotaged every relationship they've been in this person got family this person got family that don't fool with them some of you got family like this the person that I'm talking about, the person that I am describing, some of y'all got family like this. I know I do. I, you know, I ain't no shame in my game. I be the first first person to raise my hand. I got family like this. Toxic, toxic ass family members like this here. I've had co-workers like this too. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all let this person alone. Y'all, some of y'all don't deal with this person. You don't. Yeah, you put some distance. You put some, some of you put some distance between you and this person. Yeah, you did. Because if this was a lover, you saw that this was a dead end. This wasn't, this wasn't, it wasn't going anywhere. Mm. And this is somebody who likes to, uh, they like to treat people like a doormat. Like, if you are weak, if they look at you as weak or vulnerable in any kind of way, this this is the kind of person that will chew you up and spit you out. I mean, just treat you like you are nothing. Like, literally, literally, like, treat you like a doormat. Wipe their feet on you, so to speak. Mm-mm.
And this person, for some of you, this person could have did you bad and backstabbed you, did this dirty stuff towards you uh, at a time when you didn't you didn't have all of this uh, prosperity going on. You know when your when your money wasn't as good as it may be right now. This person could have turned on you then, because uh, cause uh, for some of you, this person was running their mouth about you behind your back, thinking that you weren't gonna come up. Thinking that you weren't going to come up like you did. Mm -hmm. But now that you have come up. A lot of you. And you working, you working on your money. This person. <laughs> is feeling some type of way. About what they done did. And they too. Because some of them could feel backstabbed. Because you don't. You don't F with them no more. You don't deal with these people no more. Because you see for you you see them for who they are. Mm-hmm. This person could be shamed too. Uh because, because of what you see, what you have exposed about them. Because some of you have exposed some things about this person too. You have exposed some things. Hmm. Hmm. This, this person could have uh, tried to put curses or spells on you by speaking on your life. Because, you know, uh, there, there is power in the tongue. And, uh, and there is, uh, you can manifest through your words by what you speak. This person spoke some stuff on you. On some of y'all. For some of you, this person could have stabbed you in your back too. Once you separate ties with them too. Once you cut, once you saw who they were, or you saw the little mess they was doing, you cut that ass off. And they, and they, and they feel it, and they was feeling some type of way about it. For some of y'all, this person still mad. They still mad because you don't fool with them. Yep. You said goodbye. You put a you put a nail in that coffin. You put a nail in that coffin. And like I said, this person is, they are, part of them is angry. But the other part of them is sad, too. The other part of them regret what they've done because because like I said, whether it's family, whether it's a lover, a so-called friend that you you know because see for some of you, uh, you developed a friendship with this person at work where you worked at, and then y'all became kind of. Y'all became kind of close. But this person, but now that you done cut this person off, you don't deal with this person. This person still thinks about you from time to time, though. They do. They think about you from time to time. Mm. I'm hearing that they never wished that they'd have did what they did. But at the time that they did it, this person, this person didn't give a damn. They didn't. They, you know, for some of you, this person gossiped and talked about you when you didn't have it. They were jealous. And when you got it, when your prosperity came in, they were still jealous. They talked about you even more. Mm-hmm. And then some of them, because you cut them off and because you saw the true colors, 
and you cut this person off, uh, they, they, some of them may have went around and said gossip about you saying that, uh, you cut them off now that you doing well. Yeah. The collective, ever since the collective been doing all right for themselves, they don't fuck with me no more. They don't deal with me no more. You know, this type of stuff. Yeah. Knowing though deep down the main reason why you cut their ass off because they're a backstabber. They're a liar. They malicious. You know what I'm saying? They project. Um, put people down. This could be somebody that would rather hurt you than help you. You know what I'm saying? But you saw that, collective. You saw that. You saw that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, Lord Jesus. All right, let's see here. I'm going to try to get a couple more tarot cards and see what else comes out here. Mm. Enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. So we got a page of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. This and see for some of you. You you guys are uh you guys are the kind of person you uh um uh, with this uh page of wands being here, some of you uh you know you you encourage people, you know, uh, but uh but even though you know you are a you know energetic person, you a goal getter, you know, you working on your prosperity, working on your money and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people or people around you see you as competition too. Because because you got that you got that something in you. You got that something about you where people see you as competition. This person that did you dirty saw you saw you as competition. Mm-hmm. Yep. Especially when you started coming up you know, for, for those of you who had to come up from the bottom up, this person, uh, you may have surpassed this person. You could be, at one time, this person, for some of you, at one time, this person could have been doing better than you. But now, some of you may be doing better than this person. Because, uh, I know some of y'all have experienced this. The Lord knows I have. I have been acquainted with people who I thought were my friends in the past. That the one point in time they were doing better than me. What you know, I mean they they were they were doing better than me. In so many ways. Um but the minute my blessings came in and oh I got, you know, certain certain blessings and things was coming in for me, all of a sudden this person stopped talking to me. They just they just fell off. Uh, but it's amazing though how some people can be jealous of you even though they got more than what you got. They doing better than you, but yet and still they they jealous of you. And the Holy Spirit showed me what it was. They see your potential. See, that's the thing about the enemy. You know, uh uh, you know, through other people, uh, they can they can see your potential before you do. They can see it in you when you don't see it. And they are hoping that you don't never tap into it. They are hoping that you don't never tap into that potential. Because for those, because, because for some of you that's got it, if you do or if you have, you ain't gonna be no joke. 
You ain't going to be nothing to play with. Nothing to mess with. You going to be, I'm telling you, prosperity is going to be your best friend. Some of y'all are already walking in it. Some of you are maybe, uh, some of you may be inspirational speakers. You are motivators, motivational speakers. Yeah. Some of you may be um, pastors, evangelists. You speak God's truth. You are a foot soldier for the Lord. You are a healer through your words. Yeah. Because some of you are actually living out your purpose. If you if you are not, you will be. Mm. And some of you may be into politics. Maybe you, um, maybe uh, going into politics may be a, a you know a goal for you. Um, then you know. But whatever it is, whether it be being a salesperson, a politician, a motivational, uh, a motivational speaker, or whatever, the potential you have it is there, and these and these people or this person saw that, or they see it, they know it, they knew it before you did. That's why. That's why they, you know, the backstab and the. The gossiping and the the, the mm, mm. trying to trying to come off like they your friend when they were nothing but a, a wolf in sheep's clothing the whole damn time. Mm. Well, let's see what else here. Hmm. Then we have Emperor here, Aries. You could be, you could be Aries. This person could be, but you know, Aries. You know, they. This is somebody who. You know, they all about stability. You know, they all about their money. Uh, um. Very logical type of person. Could be an older man. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But I believe, uh that some of you are walking in this emperor energy but it's also I'm also picking up that this backstabby type of person that person that backstabbed you ran their mouth jealous of you jealous of your come up jealous of, of, of where you are right now uh they uh See, this is somebody who appears as as the emperor in the upright, but they are actually underneath that mask that, that they wear. This is a emperor in reverse. It sure is. This is a emperor in reverse. Because I did, because uh, if I didn't say it earlier, um, this person... Uh, they don't like they don't like change they you know what i'm saying they are stubborn you know even though now they you know they you know this is somebody who could be doing all right themselves they for some of you this person was already stable and doing okay before you knew them or when you met them when when you was building coming up this person was already there they already had it, but they just did not see the potential in, well, they saw it, but they didn't think that you was going to come up to where you at, wherever you may be in your season of prosperity. They didn't see it. They didn't, they saw it, but they didn't think you was going to get there. This is somebody who could have not thought much of you collecting for some of y'all they don't have to like verbally say that but they can energetically you know give off the vibe that they didn't mm. 
this this could be um this could be somebody's father that acts like this a older man mm-hmm this could be somebody's father who acts like this This is a hard-working person, too. This person, yeah, this is a hard-working person. But they, but they, uh, they like to control, though. They, they, <laughs> yeah, this is control, yeah, they, yeah. They like to, they have a, um, uh, they also have a, uh, you know, a my way or highway type of vibe about them, too. But this is definitely, definitely somebody who's doing pretty well for themselves. But, but they, but they was jealous of you. Talked about you. Backstabbed you. This is a bit. <laughs> I just, I just, this is a bitter ass person. As much as they got going for themselves, they just can't stand to see somebody else come up. I know what part of it is. They is afraid that you or others are going to have more than what they got. That's what it is. That's that's the biggest thing I see. That you're going to have more than what they have. And they, you know what I'm saying? And they hate hey, they, they bitching. Bad mouthing. Oh Lord. As strong as this person may appear to be when they are around others, this person struggles with coping with things. Certain things they sure do. Especially like these toxic this some of this. And that's another thing that uh, when they see when when they by themselves when they are alone, this person spent a lot of time in this five of cups because this is somebody who's broken themselves. They could have. I believe that this person's childhood back when they were younger or something um see they this person grew up around bitterness and they they may have come from a dysfunctional family where all this type of mess went on uh this person could have came from a family where family members were a constantly they would constantly attack each other stabbing each other in the back doing each other dirty just constantly keeping their mouth on each other backbiting putting each other down mm. Mm -mm -mm. this is all they know collective lord have mercy this is all they know and and uh, and they could have, you know, when they became adults themselves, they worked hard, you know, to get themselves to this um, emperor-like status, you know. But um, but this is somebody who could have came from nothing, but. But what, but whatever they came from, from a childhood on up, they brought all that trauma, all of that bitterness, all they this, all this toxicity. They brought it with them. Now, like I said, this is a strong. This person is a is a hard, strong, hard working type of person. 
uh, and they may live well. They may be stable with their money, but this is a bitter Betty or a bitter Bob. This person hates to see other people do well, especially if it's people that they know. And this is somebody because they are, uh, and this is somebody who also, too, I'm picking it up, uh, they stuck up, you know, kind of, you know, the ass on the shoulder type. Probably a little bit of arrogance as well. Uh, this is somebody who may think they're better than other people. But they judge other people by what they have and what they don't have. But with you, they did not expect you collected. Now for some of you, just let it resonate where it resonates. This person did not expect to see you in this season of, of prosperity. They didn't think that you would ever get there. They didn't think that you would have. <laughs> but see, but see, what they what they didn't see in you or didn't know about you, collector, what they did not know about you was that you had all this potential buried in you the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were a diamond in the rough. This person it's kind of like this person picked you up and looked at and looked at you but then just tossed you over to the side because they didn't because they didn't think much of you they didn't they didn't it's kind of like um you are a package and this person I uh, did not bother to unwrap you because of the kind of wrapping uh, that you came in. You see what I'm saying? They judged the package by what it looked like on the outside. Not really seeing, you know, this person fail to see the real you and they made a poor judgment of you for some of you this person may have seen some potential in you but they were just hoping that you would never tap into it that you would never wake up that you would never wake up and walk in it but they didn't know that you had some hidden talents about you that they didn't know nothing about see And then for some some others of you, this person didn't think much of you at all. They didn't think that you had that, no. They didn't think that you would go anywhere. That you would, that you wouldn't go never come up. And with gossip being here, this other people may have told this person that it wasn't much to you. It wasn't much to you. Oh, it ain't nothing to collective. Oh man, no. It ain't no man. Uh they they may have told this person not to even in you know invest in you, not to put too much time into you, not to share their resources with you. Because uh you was they were told or they were led to believe by whoever they've been gossiping to, that you were just a waste of time. No, don't put your, um, don't put all your time or money or resources or whatever into the collective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the hangman, Pisces energy. Yeah, and see, with this hangman being here, you let you you um you let this person go 
while you working on your prosperity, this person is feeling trapped and confined. Self, this is this is a see this this person themselves is limited, but this is somebody who is limited spiritually. They 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 are limited. They have a, a limited mindset, a limited belief system. They they judge things from the outer appearance, not trying to look on the inner, on the inside. It's all about the outside. But I know one thing, since they've been sitting in this five of cups though, uh they don't they they got some sort of perspective. <laughs> yeah. And they have learned a lesson too with this hangman being here. This person learned a lesson that uh and one of the lessons is you don't never want to judge a book by its cup. Everything ain't always what it might look like on the outside. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. This is a lesson that they that they had to learn. And I pray that they learned it. I pray and hope that they have learned this lesson. You know, that everything ain't what it looked like on the outside. You would be surprised. You open that book up and you would be surprised as to what you might learn. You know, uh, don't just look at the title and, and think that you know what that whole book is about. Mm -mm. Sometimes you got to open that book up and read it and see what it's about. So, you know, uh, open that package up because you never know. It might be a blessing in that package. It might be a blessing. That's what that's what you was to this person or to whoever these people were or are. All these gifts and qualities you got about you. Yeah. This person hated on you because of it. They hated on you because of that. And the fact that because of what they could not see. See, God hid, for some of you, God hid the, the best of you. God hid hear that from this person because I'm telling you for some of y'all uh, if this person could have foreseen where, where your life was going you see what I'm saying if they could have seen foreseen where your life was going to head and what you was going to get blessed with beforehand they would have held on to you they would have held on to you See, so it wasn't meant for them to be in your life. That's why the divine God, the father, he came in and he removed them. He removed them. Because they were not going to be nothing but a block anyway. Because they, they was a backstabber, a gossiper. You know, kept their mouth on you. Jealous. Did not want to see you blessed at all. Mm -hmm. But now, now, and then for some of y'all, this person could be watching you. If there are any, if y'all, um, you know, if, you know, they could be watching you on social media. They could be watching you on Facebook or whatever, TikTok, whatever. But for some... If they got access to your family, uh, or uh, or y'all hang hang you know hung out in the same um, in the same friend group, the same friend circle, yeah, uh, this person is watching. Uh, and for some of them, uh, for some of you, uh, this person asked about you. In the past, they did after you went on about your business. This person asked about you, and uh, they wasn't really liking what they was hearing. Um, this is what I'm picking up, that they were, they didn't, um, whoever it was they was talking to, 
or asking about you. you they told this person that you were doing well. That you were doing good. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, collective uh yeah, you know, collective um you know um collective is buying a new house. Yeah, you know, out on so and so. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, you know, uh collective just closed on a new home. Oh yeah, yeah. Collective just bought just bought a new vehicle, yeah. Two thousand twenty four, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, collective, you know, started their business, you know. Oh, yeah, collective just got uh, promoted, you know. Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, to, you know, to be, uh, they just got, you know, promoted on their job. Yeah, you know, they working from home now. Mm-hmm, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, they, you know, they doing well. You know, they doing good. This person, <laughs> That is where this regret comes in at. Because, like I said, they did not expect, for some of you, they didn't believe, they didn't believe that your season, your season of uh, prosperity was going to come in. They didn't believe it. They, they, mm -mm. they uh, and then plus, it was easy for them to listen to other people uh, say negative things about you uh, because because they they already had this negative uh, perception of you anyway. See what I'm saying? So it was easy for them to uh, you know get into these little groups and gossip and run their mouth and you know and. Uh, say all these negative things and whatever, and then whatever, uh, whoever they've been talking to, uh, add their little negative two cents in on it. And then, you know, and they just sucking it up. They just, you know, they just sucking it up, you know, because, uh, because they was, because of their jealousy, you know, and the fact that they are bitter, but they, you know, they, you know, they wanted to believe the negative. Mm-hmm. This person tried to mess with, they, for some of you, this person tried to affect, they tried, they tried to affect your prosperity by speaking on you, speaking against you. They did. They tried. They sure did. They tried. By running their mouth. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Some of you could have had some money issues or some money problems. You know, at one point in time, uh, uh, be you know because of what this person was speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I know one thing. Uh, I do know this though, that whatever God has for you, it's gonna be for you. I don't care who says what. I don't care who does what. Whatever God has for you is for you and nobody else. And that is what I live by. And I want to share that with you, collective. Whatever God has for you, it'll be for you in the season in which he desire for, you know, for it to be given to you. And that's just what it is. Okay? Okay. I done been in this thing almost 50 minutes. But anyway... That's all I have, Collective. I pray that, um, you know, that <laughs> I pray that you, you know, this this reading resonated with you. Um, I pray that it was a blessing to you as well. Um, and I, you know, and I thank you for the support. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your likes, your comments. I appreciate all that. And God bless you. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye.